And so women's dress prices fell 12.1% during the pandemic because nobody was buying them. Men's suits, same thing. Suits are now 21.5% cheaper than they were in February of 2020. Transit. Mass transit is 2.9% cheaper than it was last February. Think about it. Nobody was going. Sporting events. All right, so admission is 1.8% cheaper. However, when you think of the price of a ticket to any sort of sporting event, it's oodles of money, right? And so I think any, I'll take 1.8%. Pets. The demand for pets and pet supplies skyrocketed during the pandemic. Pets and product prices are 1.8% cheaper than they were in February of 2020. Pet supplies and accessories are down 3.8% since the start of the pandemic. So maybe we all, uh, you know, went out and adopted an animal, but we thought Fluffy or Fido doesn't necessarily need that new bow tie because we're not going out and about. We're not dressing up. And healthcare. During the health, the pandemic, healthcare became even more important than ever. But apparently, if you break it down into the price of prescription drugs and over-the-counter medicine, things have actually gotten cheaper. In fact, prescription drugs and over-the-counter medicine saw a 2.2% decrease, and prescription drug prices alone are down 2.9% over the past year and a half. So see, it's not all bad news. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk with ABC's Aaron Katursky and what the Surgeon General would like to see when it comes to the information of data and specifically the transparency of it so that we really know who to believe, what to believe, what the science behind all this is when it comes to COVID-19. So that's coming up. Right now, let's take another look at your drive. And now, Nick's checking out the five. Are you outside? Uh, sure, if you want, I'll be peeking in the window before you're driving Burbank. On the southbound side, it's going to be a rough go before the drive right now, and leaving point of Vista Street. And to make way toward Olive, and that's due to a subtle car crash that's straddling middle lane. Really, really heavy for your drive there. 170 southbound at the moment for as an alternate for your drive to the 5 is looking good. Coming away from the split with the uh, 5, 170 southbound as you make way toward the 101. Uh, if you want to head uh, eastbound on the 134, that's also wide open for your drive, leaving the 101 as you make way toward the 5. Got an update of this problem or anything else slowing you down, pound 250 under Cell phone keyword is uh, KFI traffic. Northbound side of the five starting to get patchy for your drive through the Buena Park area, leading Beach Boulevard toward Valley View and La Mirada. Delays further northbound out of Norwalk and Santa Fe Springs in stretches from before the 605, and that will be patchy for your drive through Boyle Heights toward the 101. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Nick Pagliocchini. Do you have a mortgage with mortgage insurance? If you do, then you're probably paying every month for mortgage insurance that you don't need. Your home has likely appreciated in the last year. So call Owning at 8332-OWNING or go to owning.com to see if Owning can refi you out of this needless and useless expense. For example, if you have a $400,000 FHA mortgage, you're paying approximately $2,100 a year, every year, to protect your lender, not you. Does that make any sense? Call Owning at 8332-OWNING and you can find out in a few minutes whether Owning can get you out of this useless insurance without cost or obligation. Call Owning at 8332-OWNING or go to owning.com. In MLS 2611, licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act, subject to credit approval. That's 8332-OWNING or go to owning.com. So, cat weather from KFI, we have a slight chance, like a 20% chance of some showers today, although we are getting reports of some thunderstorms in the Antelope Valley area. Highs today will still be warm. We'll be in the 70s at the beaches, 80s for Metro LA and OC, upper 90s to right around 100 for the valleys and the IE. We leave local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. Yeah, Ralph, we know there's never a good time to run out of fresh. Luckily, our delivery and free pickup make it easy to grab what you need. So whether it's a few extra buns for the backyard barbecue or some miscellaneous bun sheets for movie night, we make it easy to get back to being you. Ralph, fresh for everyone. Free pickup on orders of $35 or more restrictions in the Get more ways to save at the buy five or more, save one dollar each sale. Just buy five or more participating items and save a dollar each with card. Ralph's, fresh for everyone. There are no limits to what we can do together. So let's keep rising, California. Oh, 
wrong way. Get vaccinated and wear a mask when it can protect you and others. Your actions save lives. To learn more, visit COVID19.ca.gov. Cross and Heart of America are helping schools across the country increase their access to healthy food. Learn more at anthem.com slash CA slash Sparks. Anthem Blue Cross is the trade name of Blue Cross of California. If you own a business and pay payroll taxes for five or more employees, there's a new government program that will rebate you up to $20,000 cash per employee. Problem is, how do you get a hold of that money? Does your accountant know about this? Probably not. This isn't what accountants do. But InnovationRefunds.com does do this. InnovationRefunds.com got me and my partner a six-figure refund. They know what they're doing. Their CPAs know exactly how to access these tax rebates. They do all the legwork, no upfront costs, and what they do is simply share a percentage of the cash they get back for you. InnovationRefunds.com has helped over 6,000 businesses, including mine, get some $450 million back. Remember, up to $20,000 per employee. Go to InnovationRefunds.com, click on the Qualify Me button, answer a few questions. InnovationRefunds.com, no risk, pretty high reward. InnovationRefunds.com. American Vision Windows, SoCal's choice for energy-efficient windows and doors. AmericanVisionWindows.com. Live AFI AM 640 local and our radio station. I'm gonna give you my love. I'm gonna give you my love. KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Welcome to a Monday morning. Thanks for being here. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee, and some of the stories we're watching in the KFI 24-hour newsroom. An alternate on the U.S. women's gymnastics team has tested positive for COVID-19 in a training camp in Japan. The unnamed gymnast is the first American to test positive at the Olympics. U.S. tennis player Coco Goff also tested positive, so she won't be competing at the Games. In total, there are now more than 50 confirmed cases linked to the Games. And the list of has been released of the 41 candidates who will run in California's recall election against Governor Newsom. It includes 21 Republicans, 8 Democrats, 1 Libertarian, 9 Independents, and 2 Green Party members. Right now, let's say good morning to ABC's Aaron Katursky. So Aaron, the Surgeon General, told ABC News over the weekend he's got an idea for greater transparency because he's trying to combat misinformation when it comes to COVID-19. Well, the Biden administration would like uh, Facebook and other social media accounts to do what they can to, to scrub social media and scrub the Internet of, of, of misinformation about the virus, about the vaccine. The, the, the companies are pushing back a little bit, saying it's just the administration trying to you know, blame somebody for failing to reach their vaccination goals. But, but the Surgeon General told us over the weekend that you know, they're, in, they're in good stead. They're going to call out the companies when they do good things uh, for the virus, and then they're going to call them out when, when they think there's room for improvement. And clearly people are, are getting this into consuming this information about the virus and that's affecting their decisions to get vaccinated. Less than half the country is vaccinated and 97% of the new cases, the CDC says, are among those who are unvaccinated. So we're really this tale of two countries right now. And that's no, that's no good. No, that's no good. And I'm wondering if the pushback from social media is not only going to be, because we know Mark Zuckerberg, you know, lashed out very quickly after some of the comments by the Biden administration, President Biden specifically talking about social media killing Americans with this misinformation. And I know that one of the things that they might fight back on is, hey, OK, give us one solid place or give us something that we can do every time that we see this misinformation come out give us the data that can prove or disprove or something like that. But also I know they're going to say is it how, um, give us more manpower or give us some money or something like that. If you want us to fight this, great, but maybe they don't have the people to do that. Yeah, I don't know that, that, that Facebook or technology companies, you know, pitching for coin is going to be the, <laughs> you've got to find a sympathetic ear uh, on, on the part of the American government. But, uh, you know, I think they, they're, they're out to show that, uh, you know, this stuff is having an effect, and, and you can see that it's having an effect. If you look at the, the increasing caseload in every state but two, Wyoming and South Dakota, and in some states, it, it, you know, it's an incremental increase. It's an increase from not a lot to begin with, so it's not as worrying. But you look at a place like Oklahoma where hospitalizations have tripled in the past week, and, and, and one doctor that we spoke to said it's like, you know, January all over again. Yeah.
And when it comes to this information on social media, is there a way that the administration has said, hey, we want to work with these tech companies? Come up with some new idea where there's a specific place that you can go to watch the message by Vivek Murthy or watch the message by the head of the CDC, watch the message by Anthony Fauci, some, something like that where they could say, hey, this is a place that people can go from there once we've given you everything we got and you have it at your fingertips literally, then we don't know what else to tell you. Well, they're, they're, they are doing that, and you know those messages are, are out there too. I think they'd like to do for um, you know the vaccine misinformation what what social media companies have done with you know things like anti-terror messages or or you know that kind of thing, and just kind of stop the spread, stop the you know stop allowing that stuff to to promulgate online, and in some cases. You know, they could have some moderate success, just the way they did with trying to scrub social media of, um, uh, you know, of, of ISIS messages and the like. And in other cases, you know, they're, they're going to miss some. But I, I think the technology companies are resisting because they don't want it to be their problem. Well, um, and, and they don't want to police it the way the administration might hope. All right, Aaron, thanks so much for that. We'll talk again soon. Thanks, Jen. Yes, that's ABC's Eric Tursky. And that's true. I'm sure that they don't want this to be their problem. So I ask you, do they have a case? And I ask you that in the sense of, is it their problem? Is it their problem to go through and scrub everything that... Here's, here's going to be a fine line. That the administration finds to be misinformation. What if Sally on the street corner wants to scream and shout and tell you her opinion on COVID-19. Does Sally on the street corner not have the right to put that on social media? If it's her own private page, she's not uh, respond she's not representing anybody, any business, any she's not saying that this is what uh, Dr. Fauci or Vivek Murthy or any of them said. So, is it Facebook's job to tell you Sally is a looney tune, you need to listen to, to uh, the Surgeon General. In fact, insert the Surgeon General message here. Okay. Um, then aren't you going to run into free speech issues? Aren't you going to run into... Oh, I mean, this could be a disaster for social media. On the other hand, you are social media. You're supposed to be responsible. You're supposed to be stopping bad things from getting out there. So if there is misinformation that has the potential to hurt people that's going out there, then isn't it upon you to stop that? Oh, what a tangled web I weave. Couple more stories for you. Speaking of Surgeon Generals, remember U.S. Surgeon General Jerome Adams? He's the former one who served under uh, President Trump. Here's an interesting story from him. He recently took to Twitter to voice his own regrets and concerns over the mask mandate since then. He said, last year, Tony Fauci and I famously, prematurely, and wrongly advised against masks. He wrote in a rare admission of a misstep, I felt it was the best call at the time, but now I regret it. I'm worried the CDC also made a similarly premature misinterpreted yet still harmful call on masking in the face of the rising Delta variant. So now you have the former Surgeon General saying he should have had masks in place earlier, now calling out the CDC for saying that you don't need a mask, even though L.A. County says you do need a mask and are required to wear a mask. I can see how this is just frustrating if it's frustrating for me and I literally have all the information sitting here right in front of me so I can do my Venn diagram of how A plus B equals C if you're the average person who turns on the news a couple times a day you're hearing a different message every time you turn the news on I can only imagine how freaking frustrating that must be alright I want to talk about something that just makes me happy in Massachusetts, there are a couple of police department dogs that are the first COVID-sniffing canines. 
They are nine-month-old Labrador step-siblings. They work for Bristol County Sheriff's Office. Experts say the dogs are so advanced in their training, they can even pick up on different strains, including the more contagious Delta variant. They can smell the virus on a surface that was recently touched by a COVID-positive person. They say their training method for the COVID dogs is the same as if they were training them for firearms or explosives or narcotics or any kind of scent work. Experts say the dogs were trained by using masks worn by COVID-positive patients. They say the masks were put under an ultraviolet system to kill the contagious portion of the virus when the dog was working with it, obviously. But there's something in there where they can sniff it out. And finally, Matt George, do you listen to the podcast, She Rates Dogs? He died on Saturday when he was hit as he walked in an unmarked crosswalk in Beverly Hills in what police describe as a hit and run. It was a white BMW traveling east on Beverly Boulevard. George was crossing Croft Avenue at 2.20 in the morning, and that's when he was hit. And the She Rates Dogs co-host, Michaela Auckland announced George's death on Twitter. She says, I'd rather you guys hear it from me than a news article. Matt was killed in a hit and run last night. I really don't have words right now. I wish I could contact everybody who knows him personally, but the news is already out and I just can't do that right now. Super sad. So Matt George, dead at the age of 26. All right, when we come back, I've got some stories for you. One involving a candidate for governor of California. She was one of the uh, early first high-profile names that we heard get into the race. (laughs) Not only is she not campaigning in California, she's going out of the country right now. So a lot of people are saying, hey, wait a minute, how serious are you about this whole governor thing if you don't even want to stick around and campaign for it? Eh, That is one question. And who is on Britney Spears' payroll? I was blown away not only by who's not on the payroll, but how much the people on the payroll are making. That's coming up. Right now, let's take a look at your drive on the 91. As you're making your way Riverside through Corona, westbound side going to be heavy stretches of slowing overall from before the last era. As you make your way past the uh, 241 toll road and the southbound side of the 57, looks like Caltrans crews are wrapping up shop for you through the Bray Canyon Plus 57 around, southbound around uh, Bray Canyon Road. Looks like it's an early problem cleared off to the right shoulder. So overall, 57 south, still going for you from before the 60 at the Diamond Bar area. As you're making your way into Brea, westbound 60, still going for you right now through Chino from before a reservoir as you make your way in stretches toward the 57. Also problems cleared from lanes in Ontario on the southbound side on the 15 past Sarupa. It was a wreck. A couple of cars involved in the motorcycle as well. 15 south past Sarupa. Lanes are clear, but you're still seeing a bit of right shoulder activity. So patchy overall. 15 southbound for you off the 210 in the westbound side of the 10. So going for your drive from Cherry as you make way toward about Haven. KFI and Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Nick Pagliocchini. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Shift hiring gears with Indeed. They go beyond the resume with 135 skills tests that help candidates show their abilities on things like computer proficiency or customer service. Indeed skills tests reduce hiring time by 27% on average. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Colin Mori Kawa shot a four under in the final round of the Open Championship to capture the Claret Jug. It's his second major title, both of which he's won in his tournament debut. The NHL released a projected list of the 30 teams exposing players to Seattle Kraken's expansion draft. Jonathan Quick is among the notable teams not protected. And the Dodgers couldn't finish the road sweep of the Rockies falling in the 10th inning on a walk-off homer. I'm Misty Jordan. What's the difference between an AMG skeptic and an AMG believer? A split second. The time it takes to fire up the ignition, step on the gas, and hear that gutsy engine roar. Go to mbusa.com slash AMG. Mercedes AMG driving performance. I talk a lot about how hot the temperatures are in the valleys, in the IE, right around 100. But even if you're heading to the beach to get a little relief, where the temperatures are still in the 70s, you're going to take some water with you, right? Don't grab those plastic water bottles. Just fill up all of your, whatever your favorite recyclable bottle is, with Life Source Whole House Water. See, if you had a Life Source Whole House Water System, all you'd have to do when you're packing up for the beach is grab some of those bottles, grab some re- uh, recyclable bottles, go over to any faucet in your house, flip it on, and boom, clean, delicious water. You've got no maintenance, no filters to replace, no tanks of, to exchange, so you've got more time to go to the beach. 
And if you have hard water, a life source will last water system can help with that too. The life source removes the odor and the taste of chlorine without using salt or chemicals. So when you're back from the beach and you're taking that shower, your skin and your hair are going to thank you because you'll be bathing in filtered water. So have LifeSource create a customized water solution for you, direct from the factory that serves Southern California for over 37 years. And don't forget, everything is made in the USA. And if you're looking for a great new career opportunity, LifeSource is looking for you. Call LifeSource today and get full service and full confidence in your water. Call them at 1-800-334-5009. That's 1-800-334-5009. Or just visit LifeSourceWater.com. Life source water. Taste and feel the difference. Someone uses your toilet and it overflows. Can you imagine how embarrassing that is for your guests and for you? Hello, I'm John Akoyan, owner of Rooter Hero Plumbing. You're hosting a party, the water is on the floor, and your guest has to tell you that the toilet is backed up. And worst of all, you have to tell your guest that they can't use the bathroom. I shudder when I tell this story because it happened to me. Can you imagine? I own Rooter Hero Plumbing and my toilet overflowed. Talk about being humbled. Well, the truth is, it could happen to anyone. And the solution is to call 866-DRAIN-77. That's what I did, and our plumber was here within the hour. Not because I'm the owner, but that's just what we do. I'm so confident that you'll be satisfied with our services that I put my cell phone number on every business card. 866-DRAIN-77. That's 866-DRAIN-77. Hi, we're the Goo Goo Dolls. We're fortunate that we can give our daughters everything they need to grow and learn. But not every child can focus on classes and play dates. Nearly 13 million kids in the U.S. face hunger. That's one in six. School lunch might be their only meal each day. And it's heartbreaking to imagine any child going to bed hungry. We're dreaming of a perfect day when kids can smile, play, and just be kids without worrying about where their next meal will come from. Feeding America is working to make that perfect day a reality. Each year, the Feeding America network of food banks rescued billions of pounds of good food that would have gone to waste. That food is given to families and children in need. Being a kid should be about doing things that make an ordinary day extraordinary. Learning to play an instrument, building a sandcastle, hosting tea parties. Hunger should never be an obstacle to growing up. You can help end childhood hunger in your community by visiting feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Hey Gary, how are things? Things are great, but I crushed my mortgage payment with Oni without even leaving my couch. I got a no closing cost refi at a great low rate, and Oni did it all in less than three weeks. It was easy, no muss, no fuss. Be like Gary. Call Oni at 855-5-ONI and crush your mortgage payment with today's 15-year fixed refi at 1.99% rate at APR with no closing costs. None. Zero. Even if you've refinanced recently, call 855-5-ONI and let us crush your monthly payment even more. That's 855-5-ONI or log on to owning.com. NMLS 2611, licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act, subject to credit approval. Call 823-852-6464 for terms and conditions. You can crush it, too, with a 15-year fixed 1.99% rate in APR with absolutely no closing costs. Need a new water heater? Water Heaters Only, with over 53 years in business, offers low prices, quality same-day service, and, for a limited time, monthly payments as low as $89 for a water heater replacement. Visit waterheatersonly.com. Terms and conditions apply. Tickets are on sale now for our 2021 iHeart Radio Music Festival, September 17th and 18th in Las Vegas. Billie Eilish, Cheap Trick, Coldplay, Dua Lipa, Florida Georgia Live, J. Cole. Journey, Khalid, Little Baby, Maroon 5, Nelly, Sam Hunt, Weezer, special guest performance by Phineas, and more on the T-Mobile Arena nighttime stage. Get tickets now through AXS.com. That's AXS.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Homeschooling is no joke. It is hours a day. You have to follow the California syllabus. It's not just, uh, here you go, let's start watching National Geographic. And then the reality is, who wants to stay with their kids that long anyway? Wait, who would ever want to do that? Bill Handel. Clearly, you would have not been the homeschool teacher in your family. That is correct. <laughs> Mornings from 6 to 10 on KFI. Yay! Yay! Off again 
today. Wayne will be in for him, and we'll start handle on the news in just a few minutes. But I want to follow up on some of the stories coming out of the KFI 24-hour newsroom. The LA County Department of Public Health says more than 1,000 cases of COVID-19 have been reported for the 10th straight day. It says 1,635 cases were reported yesterday. Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer says the recent spike has been caused by a combo of the more infectious Delta variant and millions of people in the county who are still not vaccinated. And an L.A.-based music exec has been identified as one of the 97 people killed in the collapse of a condominium building in Florida. Teresa Velasquez, who worked for Live Nation, had flown to Miami to visit her parents, who were also killed in the collapse. All right, now let's take a look at some of these stories that I was telling you about. First of all, who is it that's campaigning to run for governor of California, but is leaving California? Uh, not permanently, just for now, but in the middle of a campaign, Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner is going to shoot the new season of Celebrity Big Brother, and she's off. She's headed to Australia already. According to a tabloid in Australia, she'll be paid $372,000 for her appearance. Now, Friday marked the last day for candidates to join the race. And the recall election is scheduled for September 14th. Now, I don't know if you noticed over the weekend, but we were watching um, the Braves game. Because I wanted to, well, first of all, my husband's a big Braves fan. But I also wanted to see, did you know that Jock Peterson of the Dodgers got traded to the Braves? And I wanted to see how he did. Oh, oh. Can I just say as a Dodgers fan, man, I miss you, Jock. That guy was amazing this weekend. Anywho, sorry. Tangent there. But there were more Newsome ads than I remember seeing during the actual campaign for governor. Over and over and over. I felt like every single commercial break they went to during the game was a... You know, the recall is a waste of money, it's just a Republican hit job, it's whatever the case may be. It was over and over and over. And in the midst of all of this, you have one of the biggest celebrity names to be on the ballot, Caitlyn Jenner, heading off to Australia. So I know that it can't just be me who went, hey, the timing of that's a little strange. There are a lot of people who are saying, Hey, how serious is she really about becoming the governor if she's jetting off to Australia to make $372,000 and be on Celebrity Big Brother? Just saying. And finally, who is on Britney Spears' payroll? I was shocked to hear this, and then not shocked. Among those people on Britney Spears' payroll, and possibly the highest paid person is her father, as in the father that she's fighting against the conservatorship, that father, Jamie? Well, he is making $5 million before taxes. Forbes reports it's a $16,000 per month payment, and the outlet reported that Spears has likely had to pay an exorbitant amount of legal fees for herself and her conservators, meaning she's paying for her father's attorneys who are fighting against her. Now, the same article claims that Britney Spears' father, Jamie, his mo her mother, Lynn, brother, Brian, have all spent years on Spears' payroll. The only person who is not on that payroll is her sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, who's become a big country star in her own right. And uh, the two of them have been trading jabs on social media. And Brittany had written on Friday, people closest to her, without naming names, she says, there's nothing worse than when the people closest to you who never showed up for you post things in regard to your situation, whatever it may be, and speak righteously for support. There's nothing worse than that. Well, her sister then clapped back on social media, but bottom line is, she hasn't been taking care of her sister. I guess she figures she can take care of herself. She's got her own career. But as for the others, they're on Britney's payroll. And, man, do I feel conflict of interest. 
You're fighting the conservatorship that you are paying the legal fees for to fight against you. By the way, you're paying your dad, who is the person you're fighting to have his hold on you released. What a freak. I don't envy any attorney or financial person involved in that case in any way, shape, or form. I understand the attorneys in Brittany's case, uh, her conservatorship case, so on both sides for the conservatorship and now for her, her new attorney, will be having a conference call with the judge today. So maybe something new is coming out in that. This is KFI and KOST HD2 Los Angeles. Jeff Bogg, good morning to you. What's up on the 405? Uh, you betcha. Thank you, Jen Boy. Uh, the reporting traffic is a lot easier, I'll tell you that much. Uh, South 405, good morning to you. If you're coming out of the New Wall Pass and choosing the 405, right now it's still good, really, so nothing to worry about there. We were coming across the valley here to the east. I noticed Caltrans was in the process of picking up uh, overnight uh, work homes on the West 101 around Laurel, so they should be done with that uh, pretty good. Now, right now, as I speak to you, I'm trying to look up the South 5 area. There was something reported around Magnolia. It looks like it's closer to Verdugo, south of Burbank. I'll check that for you in a minute. I see traffic is at least moving, so that's a pretty good report for the South 5 coming through Burbank. Uh, coming through Southgate now, if you're coming up from Long Beach, uh, north 7 10 around Firestone, we're getting reports of something going on. Uh, quick check of Orange County, looking pretty good, getting into it. Maybe a little slow, getting away on the South 57 from the 60. Some earlier stuff still working there, causing a little bit of slowing, but uh, we'll uh, check it all out for you. Agent in an accident visit superwomansuperlawyer.com. I'm Jeff Baugh, not on Brittany's payroll. KFI in the sky. Southern California is termite central. Why? Well, like you, they love the weather. They love the soil. And, of course, the houses are made out of wood. So you put all that together and you've got termites that love us. And they'll happily eat your house. So let me suggest protecting your house with a free home inspection from Pacific Coast termite. Even if you don't know if you have termites, it's worthwhile. And if you do, they come and treat. They do it without tenting. You don't double bag your food, no pet sitting. You can even be home when they deal with those termites. Mention KFI, 10% off termite treatments, two-year guarantee on all of their work. Call 800 pacific 800 Pacific. That's PacificCoastTermite.com. Call 800 Pacific. Pacific Coast Termite. Kills Termite. The clean, friendly way. SoCal weather from KFI. It's going to be a partly cloudy day out there. Temperatures are going to be in just the 70s if you're at the beaches. They'll be in the 80s for Metro LA and OC. Still warm. Upper 90s to right around 100 for the valleys in the IE. And there is a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms as well. We lead local. Live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. This has been your wake-up call. Handle on the news with Wayne starts now. <laughs> On the news. The Bill Handel Show, the morning crew is here. Bill is still out. I will I will say this a few times throughout the show. For the latest on Bill's status, you're gonna have to go to Twitter at come on and farce. Because I'm the one who puts out information when it's available, and that's where I'm gonna put it. And if you don't have Twitter, if you don't know how to just go to a web browser and do a Google search for, like, Twitter at Come On and Farce, which should take you to that account without even having to log into Twitter, then I invite you to join us here in the year 2021. Come. Be a part of the modern era. Please ask your apothecary to remove the leeches from your fingers. I know you have bad humors, but I think it would be okay to take those leeches off your fingers 
and join us here in the modern era. All right, good morning, Jennifer Jones Lee. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm Dandy, how are you? How was, was your weekend? Oh my, that was so perfunctory. <laughs> uh, Alex Ronzo, good morning. Morning. Tyler Whitman. Good morning, Wayne. Good morning. John Ramirez, good morning. Good morning, Wayne. Uh, as long as we're as long as we haven't started the show yet, is this the time? Is this the time? You know what I'm talking about, guys in there. Uh I wait until maybe Thursday. Are you serious or no? Yeah. I mean why 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 do we it's it's not it's not time yet. Okay. It's time, but it's not time yet. Okay. Yeah, I will, does that's that fine. Assuming okay. assuming Bill is still out on Thursday, and assuming I'm here, I will wait till Thursday to announce what's happening. With you, you know, you know, we'll do Wednesday. How about Wednesday? Well, Wednesday. just let me know. Wednesday. All right. I'll put a post-it note. All right. Let's do some handle on the news with Jennifer Jones, Lee, and me. The lead story, the mask mandate is back in force in L.A. County, and a lot of people don't like it. They do not like it one little bit. Now, I don't know what else we need to say about it right now, except that uh, it started Saturday at, I don't remember if it was 11.58 or 11.59. It was 9. 59. Oh, yeah. On Saturday, so midnight on Sunday, boom. First thing, first, the first second of Sunday. Masks indoors. This is all the usual places. Your stores, your markets, your gyms, uh, office buildings. I started thinking churches. Churches, the place where yes. thought to have the masks off, were the first place that were had to encounter the masked people coming back in. They may still have an exemption. Because of all that litigation that happened, uh, restaurants now, except when eating or drinking. I will say this, uh, they're not shutting down anything. I know, you can, look, you can bitch and moan, and I get it, because it's Mussolini, it's mask Mussolini time. Um, really, I would love people to go live in Myanmar right now, and then, and then come back and then kind of recalibrate your reaction uh, to a mandate that you wear a mask when you go into uh, inside in a public place. But none.